our video today is about St Pyrrhon. We went to the procession this year, it was blowing the hoolie but there's some footage that you can see at the end of the video and we also explored his oratory. I hope you enjoy it. In the sands near Perrinpool you will find a Celtic cross. It marks the site of one of the early churches associated with St Pyrrhon. He was a missionary from Ireland. The Irish chieftains felt that he had far too much influence and they banished him, tying a millstone round his neck and throwing him off the cliffs. To their amazement, he floated all the way to Cornwall and landed at Perrinzabulo. His little church was set up, the oratory, and the remains of it today are enclosed in a concrete wall. Not very pretty, I must admit, but at least it does keep the sand out. So this is a St Perrin's oratory, which is to be found on the sand dunes between Perrin Porth and towards the Hollywell Bay. Pyrrhus in Zagbilo. So why is St Pyrrhon important to the Cornish? He is thought to have rediscovered the ancient art of smelting. With the rich deposits of tin and other ores in the area, the Cornish were able to smelt them out and sell them. Hence he was adopted as the patron saint of the Cornish. Myth has it that as he was heating up his hearthstone, the tin rose to the surface. The background was black and the tin was silver, and it made the sign of a cross. This is where we get the Cornish flag from. Every year there is a procession through the sand dunes to mark St Pyrrhon's Day. It's on the 5th of March. The procession goes through the dunes with a mummer's play of St Pyrrhon's life. Sung a bit. That's good, isn't it? I enjoyed that. All right, you Cornish dogs. Yeah. 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 See him holding that flag. But it's going out serious. flat, isn't it? Yeah. Cold, isn't it? Man. Yeah. Here, what do you think? Beginning of March. 